Good food. Don't pay attention and to these fools. And this is my man, Hector Rivera, you know. I'm in that one politics all student. day, man. He got like a 99 point, you know, like a 99. <laughs> <laughs> no mistakes about that. Pat, who's pulling? So, how do you usually get home? The bus. Alright. Um, Ryan's cool. He's the bus. Mad cool, like, damn. What, what do you like him? He's funny. He's, like, he stands out. Everybody? Yeah, get along with everybody just fine. Christian, Jordan, Hector. What happened? Hector. Yeah, Hector. <laughs> um, yeah. He's funny, like, he, I like him a lot. He's like my only friend. Not my only friend in school, but I consider him, like, my best friend in the school. That's my music. <laughs> That's your music? Yeah. That's the music I listen to. Little projects. Very small projects. In my block, there's a lot of gang problems. Yeah. Anybody you see in the corner, they're most likely in the gang. Anybody's on the corner, is that what you said? Anybody you see in the corner, they're most likely in the gang. People in front of the store, they're in the gang. Are you afraid of them? I know them, and my cousin is with them, so I don't, I don't have no problems with them. Do you go to school? I only get around in this neighborhood because of my cousin. I believe that anybody in this neighborhood has to have ties with somebody who's like in a gang or something. My cousin's in a gang, so and I lived there for a long time, so that's why they don't mess with us. And it's like, like people who live across the street, they're in the gangs. To have that right there is crazy. And the cops are constantly coming. I don't know why, but lately, the cops been standing there in the corner. Because the thing is, with my block, if there's problems, they tell you. Like, if we're outside hanging out, my friend will come over. A guy from the corner store will be like, get inside. Stuff is going to happen. Like, what would be happening? Shoot out. Do you hear gunshots here? Um, yeah. This block is okay. Like, nothing really happens. I walk down the block. I'm always, in, like, dressed like this in a suit or something, and they always like, oh, he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it. I have pull up the chair. Is that, is that his mom? I am really sorry. So let me just say, the problem that occurred today, which seems funny, but is not, is uh, two gentlemen in this room will remain unnamed, um, or one person, threw Hector's coat, and it went in this hole up there and it could not be gotten out. It ended in here, like these are bolted to the wall. And uh, Hector was looking for it all day, you know, was, wasn't there a big drama, where's the code all day? You know, I know you've got some schadenfreude, as we say in German. Schadenfreude means, you know, pleasure in the suffering of others. I did it but, you, there was, but there was pleasure, okay? So you got to see Hector suffer. Now Hector's mom is here, there's a whole drama. I explained to these guys how upset I am, the trouble they've caused to Hector, to you, and I explained to them, which I hope is a very important lesson, which is when you get successful in something, as these guys are in debate and they win trophies, you start to think that you are on top of the world. I'm the man. I can get away with stuff, right? Isn't that part of what's going on here? You guys think now... Yeah, but then they say that they are his friends. Right, right. I don't think so. I've already really laid into him in a, in a, in a, in a, in a way you, you, you ladies don't want to hear. If this happens again, um, they're not going to want to run into me again because I want to make their life miserable. Okay? You know, uh, Crotty giveth and Crotty taketh away. Chuck okay. Norris. You got that, buddy? You got that, Jordan? Yeah, it's not funny, man. I'm serious. No, no, no. I was thinking of Chuck. Yeah, I know, but it's true. Anything remotely even close to this will never happen again. Were y'all willingly to let him go home without his jacket? Well, you know how cold it is out there. All of you that were involved. I was okay? just in the room. Yeah, like everybody else. Right. And you saw, so don't play me. If you saw it, you're as right. guilty as you're the guy who did it. Okay? That's the lesson. 
for you. I hope this is a experience for you, Ryan, because I'm very surprised this coming from you. When they told me, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was telling everybody it couldn't be it couldn't be Ryan, and then I found out it was you, and then like you don't know how he was feeling all day. Mr. Banks offered his coat so he can go home. It's not the fact that he didn't say anything. It's the fact that y'all all my friends. There's not one person that was, wasn't in the room that morning that wasn't my friend. And out of all y'all, even if you didn't do it, not one of you could have told me in my face that it was this person. You couldn't even tell me where it was. We know how to act because we're on a debate team for a reason. We, we go to these tournaments, we act mature there. But then when we come back home, we think we can act all silly. But you know, things like this, we have to change ourselves. We have to be mature all the time. So, you know, I'm sorry for this happening. If I was here, you know, this wouldn't happen. It's good that we all just notice that potential that we have and just continue winning these tournaments, get into that good college instead of doing these dumb things. So I'd just like to apologize. I'm sorry, Hector, Mr. Lito, Ms. Martinez, and Mr. Crowdy. Okay, bye. Well, I apologize. Um, Probably most of all because um, I'm uh, I'm ultimately responsible. I am. You guys are my kids, and I have a lot of fun with you. And I think that I've let things go a little bit too lax, you know, with you guys. I let my I let my guard down. I am really sorry. And you, Hector, because you're such a good person, and, and you know it's you know I'm sorry this happened to you. Um, Believe me, you know, this is not going to happen again. I you guess. Know, they're, they're, they're all good kids. Yeah. You know? I've I seen these kids go there and debate and, and do their best, and they're all good kids, but. I, I'm sorry it happened. Okay, I don't want you to quit debate because of that. You're not a quitter, are you? Because my mom says. She's not going to let you quit. Yes, she will. Really? Yes, she will. She will? I'm grabbing it when I get home. Yes, she will. She won't let you go on tournament? No, she won't let me go on tournament. Why not? He just yeah, said he's grounded. What happened? Don't, don't, don't See, think yo, the worst. I gotta think about the big consequences behind your actions. Like, I, nah.